I wanted to start by running through some of your uh, injuries. I think it was 2007, uh, falling off your scooter and like uh, flying 50 feet. It wasn't my scooter, it was a skateboard. And I told my coach I was walking my dog. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I still don't know if he knows the real story, but uh, I was like, yeah, walking my dog, and he's like, I don't buy that crap. <laughs> um, oh, and he's like the only person in the world that you're terrified of, right? I'm still terrified of him. Like, I don't, there's just something about him that scares the sh out of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I was skateboarding, um, and I fell, and I went flying, and I fractured my foot. Uh, right before I had to go to Worlds. For just name-wise, it goes to the Olympics, Worlds, Pan Packs, and it's like the best of the best are gonna be there. Yeah. Um, but my, my foot was healing up, um, leading up right before, like a week before I actually raced. Um, but then I jumped in the pool going to warm up at the swim meet, um, and I hit the bottom of the, uh, the pool and I refractured it. So I swam with a fractured foot at Worlds, but I mean, that was my first time I broke a world record. How does that work? I don't know, it was, I was just in a lot of pain. <laughs> How about brushing your teeth with tap water in China? Oh gosh, I was, uh, I was, you could definitely say I was on the toilet for a very long time after that. Um, yeah, I was like, how could tap water really do anything? I'm just brushing my teeth, I'm not swallowing anything, like I'm just brushing my teeth. Hours, days later, um, I was just sick to my stomach, throwing up out of both ends, <laughs> and it was just it was just bad. I was up on IVs with the doctors. Uh, I was just sick, bed rest, and yeah. Understand it helped the bottom line of McDonald's, though. Yeah, I ate McDonald's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But it was like the only food that like I could trust it was McDonald's that I knew. Ooh, so what would you eat? I mean, you name it. A couple Big Macs, maybe a 12 piece nuggets, a couple cheeseburgers and with a shake and some fries. What about breakfast? Egg McMuffin, a couple Egg McMuffins and hash browns. How much weight did you put on during the 08 games because of eating McDonald's so much? <laughs> I don't think I gained that much weight. I think it was like maybe like four or five pounds. After the 09 Worlds in Rome, you're back home and you go uh, break dancing in Gainesville. Yes, um, I was break dancing in my living room. I was, I was watching as like America's Best Dance Crew or something on TV. I was like, man, I could do that. Watch. <laughs> Obviously not because one foot, like my foot went that way, my knee went that way. I heard a big pop and I tore my meniscus. What was the recovery? Oh, the I think the recovery was really bad for my meniscus just because I, I didn't listen to the doctors. Like I was like itching to get back in the water. Like I was like, I can walk now, I can get back in. I can go full throttle. Uh, a, a fan interaction led to a torn MCL and a sprained ACL? Yes. Um, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was during um, college football season and we went to Jacksonville, which it's, University of Georgia versus University of Florida football. And we always go there to like party and we were walking out of the hotel room over by the landing. And I just remember walking and hearing like, Ryan. And like, as soon as I turned around, it was this big, big sized woman. Um, and she was in mid air like running at me mid air and I grabbed like I caught her like I grabbed her like this and her momentum knocked me down on the ground and my knee hit the corner of the sidewalk and I completely tore my MCL and sprained my ACL. I was like, hey, next time just tap me on my shoulder. I'll still take a picture like and she was crying. She's like, I can't believe it's you. Oh my God, oh my God, this is a dream come true. And I took the picture and she went her separate way and I went back um, and I was just on, on it the rest of the, the day, just walking around and like limping. And then I got back to my hotel room that night and my knee was like a basketball. I was oh like, my crap. God. but I didn't get surgery. They said, you have to get surgery. I was like, no, I'm not going to. Cause I know when I tore my meniscus, it was so long. This is worse. Like I can't do it. And somehow I just did rehab day in, day out. And I was back in the water training within like four or five weeks. 
the people were like, you should be in like a science book because this is unheard of. Last one, uh, getting out of bed too quickly that led to a concussion. Oh, yes. Um, you know, I guess it's my fault because I don't stay hydrated. But how, you know, how do you not stay hydrated when you're an Olympic athlete? I hate drinking water. I hate it. I don't know why. I just don't like... I need a taste. I need something. So oh, well, you can drink <laughs> other stuff besides water that would hydrate you. I know, but I just... At that time, I didn't because okay. as soon as I got out, I got out too fast got up too fast and I started getting dizzy and I like blacked out and I went face first on the ground. It was just out cold. And you woke up with a concussion? I, yeah, I was just like, what just happened? My face was all bleeding. I'm just like, what, what's going on? Do you now hydrate? I mean, I, I could do better. All right. <laughs> <laughs>